Howdy yo everybody. Alright. Back again. Uh, gonna show you guys what I'm up to right now. My big goal right now is to eliminate these two EGR hoses. They're actually stainless steel lines that go to the back of the car. Um, I'm trying to eliminate those. Uh, as you guys can see, I've got this whole fucking front end of the car ripped down. Um, let me see. As you guys can see in there, it's kind of hard to see. But I'm starting to tear down the back of the car. And on some of these cars, I don't know why Jeep did it. It was kind of stupid. It was actually really stupid. Um, here's the charcoal canister, or the evap canister, the emissions canister, whatever you want to call it. People call it the coffee can, the new plastic style coffee can. Um, so they've located this to the back of the car. When I bought this car, I had a air leak coming from the car and I was wondering what the vacuum leak was. And this, apparently this was the vacuum leak was that hose. Well, I can see there's something missing, uh, either an elbow or some control, because here's a, mm, looks like a three signal wire connector that is just destroyed. I mean, that thing is, is garbage. Um, check engine light was on for O2 sensor for bank two being too lean. Um. So I got new O2 sensors, but I'm trying to figure out what's missing. If any of you guys know what this is actually missing back there, um, it's not the EGR regulator or the EVAP regulator. Uh, that's still located. Move some of my paperwork around. As I just hit the floor, I should have thrown it on the floor to begin with. The EVAP regulator is still right here. Um, it still mounts right here, and then the hoses jump to here um, from the intake manifold over, etc., etc. But those run to the back of the car, and I want to figure out what that is missing back there. If any of you guys know what it is that's missing, I'm trying to delete it because apparently it's not throwing any codes. But other than that, um, yeah, this engine's coming along great. Uh, I'm hoping to have this thing up going in the next week or two. Um, my deadline got pushed behind. I had to do some things. Uh, I had to go and get some of my equipment registered for the new company. Uh, like that. Um, but yeah, if any of you guys know what it is that's missing right here, let me know. Uh, it would be much appreciated. Um, I have to go look it up on uh, Mitchell On Demand, I'm going to go see what it is, but because these Jeeps had them in multiple places, had these charcoal canisters in multiple places, um, it's either in the front, it's in the back, so in most of the junkyards I go to, someone's already fucking hacked away at the engine compartment to take a head or take an intake or injector, so I can't fi really figure it out, and most of the cars are all sitting on their axles, so I can't really necessarily get in to take the bumper off um, gently um, because they don't like you ripping their shit up because they're making money off those used parts. So, uh, if any of you guys know what that is that's missing back here, it looks like it's two three quarter inch hoses and one quarter inch, um, maybe even a five sixteenths. Other than that, I mean, if you guys know what that is, hey, much appreciated. Send me a comment. Um, other than that, she, she's she's getting put back together finally. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Um, everything I've put in, it's all new oil pan. I mean, you guys can see the engine compartment's all painted up, all done nicely and properly. Um, yeah. I mean, there's no rust. I've treated all the rust. The only rust that I've left to treat is that mount and that mount. That mount I'm not too worried about because that's just a aftermarket bracket, so I can put a new bracket on if I have to. This one right here is the only one I'm worried about, but 
I treated everything else. I already did this side. This Jeep's been in here for like two years, so the rust is all gone. All that stuff you see there is all just dust and stuff like that. But other than that, I got the new ABS sensors put in. Or the ABS, I mean the airbag sensors. Um, it's always good to replace them. That one I didn't need to replace the sensor, but I did need to replace. I didn't need to clean up the plate. Um, I cleaned up the plate on this one. Had to replace the sensor on that one. But yeah, if any of you guys know what that part is that's missing in the back, it'd be much appreciated. I don't know all you Jeep lovers out there. But yep, hopefully in the next six days I will have the heads put back on. I'll have the exhaust on, or the exhaust manifolds on, the top end all put back together, timing and all. And I'll show you guys how to do a timing on this one. Um, you do need some school supplies in order to put the timing on this on this Jeep. So stay tuned. I'll have more videos come, 